Today, we deal with a metric ton of turbo door paints. They're metallics. Not So Average Builder is brought to you by these great retailers. There'll be promo codes in the description below. Hey guys, Tom here, and this is Not So Average Builder. And I was graciously sent by Turbo Dork their True Metallics line, and then a couple of extras that I asked for because Multipass is a a cool name and a cool color, and who doesn't love Absinthe? I mean, come on. With those, they also sent me this. It's a cool little teach cheat sheet on how to deal or how to use Turbo Dork paints. Uh, most of the time when you place an order with them, you get this little cheat sheet. Uh, hold on to this thing, it's a lifesaver. Once you, you know, of course, learn everything, it's kind of in there, but it's pretty cool that they send those things out. So that is kudos to them as well, uh, just for that. So this video is gonna be a little different. I was going to do, you know, like break it up between the silvers and the golds and then throw these in there. Um, but what I think I'm gonna do is just kind of batch it. I put out a poll on YouTube and a bunch of people said, you know, either A, they would watch it either way, or B, to batch paint it. So I think that that's going to be good. So I think we're going to start with the silvers, shoot on into the golds, and we'll probably throw these bad boys in at the end. Um, I'm not going to show the painting process on this. I have a ton of videos, uh, one of which is on Turbo Dork's website. I will put the card for it up here so you can click on that and watch that if you want. It is pretty straightforward. I typically use Airbrush Flow Improver by Vallejo and clean my airbrush with legitimate uh, cleaner. But that's only for like after I get the pot cleaned out. This is just for kind of after the fact. Uh, but just good old H2O. Uh, this is my old airbrush cleaner bottle. Uh, in the hobby industry, it is good to repurpose things. So this has now become my water bottle for my hobby paints so don't throw stuff away it can be used i picked randomly all of these except for one uh well actually two this one was marked as being a gold i was going to use a different gold uh, but greg was awesome enough to send that to me so now i don't have to use a different gold i can use a turbo door gold this one was done in mother load and alex or lock on hobbies wasn't crazy about it this and the multi-pass can be applied over a black or a white undercoat. Well, I've already spread them with some mother load, so let's see if I can get a cool effect out of absinthe on mother load. But other than that, these were minis were randomly chosen, uh, darker colors, lighter colors. Now, one of the things that I did see was that you can, you know, like you've got this Plague Marine, right? Tons of gold details on there that you'd have to paint. This is kind of a bad example because, you know, it's not actually a whole lot uh but let's say a thousand suns where it is that blue and that gold you could paint the whole thing gold and that's half your battle then you can just paint in your blues i want to thank greg from turbo dork for graciously sending me all these paints to review uh, i hope that i can do them justice and that you will want to buy them but enough rambling on let's jump right in
I'm in love with these. You can't tell on the video, but these are absolutely amazing paints and they laid really well and I was really excited about it. The only one that gave me trouble was Sparkle Motion. And I think that that's because the flakes in it to give the metallic finish are a lot bigger. Other than that, it laid down really smooth. It did really well. My favorite one out of the silvers was definitely 10 star. Holy crap at the silver properties on this. It's so shiny, but that's out of the bottle. No clear coat, no nothing. That is just straight out of the bottle. Just so shiny. Now the six shooter was a cool color. It was a really cool color. Silver Fox is a good, I don't know, I guess it'd be like a, almost a tarnished silver or kind of dulled silver over time. It gives it a really good look and I think I picked the perfect miniature for that to go on. Now let's get into the golds. The ones that come with the set are these right here, but all that glitters is not a part of that. Uh, he sent me that one because... You know, Greg's awesome. But that one was very similar to Sparkle Motion. Had much bigger flakes, but I was able to get it to lay down smooth. And this is a, a solid, solid yellow gold. It just comes across as amazing. So, Greg, you should probably put this one in the, uh, the bundle if it's already in there. Next, we have Bullion which was kind of like a, I don't know, we'll call it a red gold or an orange gold. It was, uh, it was kind of on the darker side. It turned out really well. And of course, this is some of the miniatures in here. I only had two miniatures from CM Games. All the other ones got painted up in the last runs. But this is another solid color. I, I have zero complaints with any of the colors in this line. Um, the only thing, it, you know, like I see complaints online, a lot of it has to do is not people sh or people not shaking the bottle up that they, as much as they need to. And that causes the things not to, to come together and create a cohesive paint. So like sparkle motion, it could have been attributed to me not shaking it up all the way. And that's what you get. You get those random big flakes, or it could be this paint. I'm not hundred percent sure. Every single one of these though. I made sure I shook the crap out of it. And just when you think you were done shaking it, shake it a little bit more. And they they lay down smooth. We're going to move on to Gold Rush. I thought this one was going to be a little brighter. But it's like a, I don't know, a tarnished gold. Almost brass hue. I may have to repaint this one because Alex wanted this one in gold. But I'm going to show him and see what he thinks. Obviously, he'll see this video, but... I'm going to show him and see what he thinks on whether uh, he thinks it's a, a good idea to keep it this color or not. Now we're going to get into my two absolute favorites on the gold, Cartridge Family. This one, so the name, what are brass casings or cartridges made out of? Or cartridges for weapons? They're brass. This is a, like, a gold brass, and man, it just, it shines, it glimmers out of the bottle, it's just an overall amazing color. Most of this is going to be repainted into a different color, uh, but I wanted that to be on here as far as that brass went. Super solid color. And I'll do some like side shots of these so you can kind of see a little bit better. And the final one, two cents. As you guessed, it's a copper. And man, is it a copper. It's not coming across on camera just how, like a penny, this is looking. This looks plated. It went on so smooth. I shook the crap out of it. Again, I only thin my stuff with Vallejo Flow Improver. No special tricks, no special techniques. Just fill a pot up with Flow Improver, or half of what I'm going to use, and then half the paint. Start it with a brush, backflow, and spray. That's it. Holy crap. I might just make a brass, like, you know, he fell into a smelting accident, you know, no pun intended there with the uh, gold member. Man, this turned out amazing. 
I'm in love with this one. It's a solid color. These, this whole line, even if you didn't get all the glitters and you got all these other ones, that is a solid, solid metallic line that you can pick up for really inexpensively. They lay flat, they lay smooth, they give amazing, amazing color properties. I think you should go out and get them. No, I'm just kidding. But in all seriousness, of course, uh, because I'm sponsored by Turbo Dork, this video is sponsored by Turbo Dork, you can pick these up, and I have a 10% off promo code for you. If you use NSAB10, and that'll be right there on the bottom of the screen, at checkout, you get 10% off your order. So you can get this whole line for 10% off. I mean, how awesome is that? You guys are going to love these. Go out, pick them up, enjoy them.